Cat, are you okay? Whoa! What do you remember there, cat? What are you doing inflating? Stop it. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh god, no! Uh oh! Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Conarium. I said that I was going to try to figure out what the mystery of this key is. And I'll be super honest, I didn't. I looked at everything. I looked at every room, every door, I think, every door that I tried to open. Couldn't do anything with it. Uh, when I was in the radio room, I did find a couple of interesting things, which you should see. So... Oh, I found a note. Found Hansen's note. And I got a secret. Okay, we got... Radio Officer Hansen's carvings. Oh yeah, we, we saw those. I believe Hansen carved all those statues in the form of a man he saw in his nightmares. Yikes. So was that the secret? Oh yeah, that's the secret. Okay, okay. Uh, also, I, I got a new journal entry. Like, there was this one at first, the one on the left, no electricity. I found that the blah blah blah. Uh, then there's the phonograph recording, but then when I entered this building, I... Got this. I'd better find a crew member. I woke up from a series of blurry nightmares, isolated inside these somewhat foreign walls. In one of my pockets, I found an empty notebook in which I am writing my notes. I can't remember anything other than there should have been others here with me. The names Dr. Faust and Dr. DeWitt are lingering in my mind now. Additionally, trying to delve deeper into thoughts gives me sharp pains in my already throbbing head. I'd better find a crew member and find out what is going on out here as soon as possible. Interesting. Right, but no use for the key. Um, so I, I was looking around and I decided that I didn't really do much exploring on this thing, and I saw that there was a little thing there. So I'm going to try to do this now. Oh, there's the bar! There's the metal handle, so now I can open it up. Oh, cool. Is this the Sahidi plant? I think it probably must be, right? Ew! Oh, it's, uh... It's, it's, it's... Friggin' cat, you meowing over there? What are you doing? Oh, uh oh, oh, that's not good. Cat, run. Spores, cat, get out of here. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Ah, oh, things are going loopy. Oh, get to the green room. Wait, are they, are they locked too? Wait a second, I'm locked in here. Oh no, I tried that. This was the door that I need to go. No. Uh oh. What was that? What? What? Cat, are you okay? Whoa! What do you remember there, cat? What are you doing inflating? Stop it. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh god, no! Uh oh! I don't like this. Let's get out of here. Okay, this door's open now. Yay! Uh oh! Oh, 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 oh no, it's it's growing. No, get out. Close the door. What are you doing? Stop stopping. Okay, close it. Yeah, close that. Okay, oh, 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 uh oh. Yeah, time to run. No, I stopped again. I can kind of look around slightly, but I don't know if I, oh no. Oh no. Oh, autosave. Okay, good. Oh, wait. Oh, it stopped. It's not, uh, yeah, okay. Just as I suspected. It was not doing anything. Okay, did I do good? <laughs> did I do, was I supposed to do that? Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Whoa, really? Really? Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far okay. south of the base. Ah! Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Would you even remember who they were if you saw them? Oh! A key? Take? I found a key on his person? We have finally- hold on. Uh, what's- isn't there a read button usually? We have finally finished excavating the monolith that was sl silently waiting for a soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building we reached within with the link elevator. 
That magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris, and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings the first time when I for for the first time when I stood aghast contemplating that gigantic stonework inside of those time worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Just thinking about its age sends shivers down me spine, shivers down me timbers. Which civilization could have constructed such grandeur? Now waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters. Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in the southeast Algeria. Dash N greater than. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything but Cornel Blake clings mostly to the continental drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but it is evident that history needs to be rewritten yet again. All right. I found an anonymous note. That's pretty weird. So you had that on your person? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Do these all say the same thing? Yes. I think they do. I think they do. I think they do. Species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. All right. Well, let's see if this is now open. It's it is. Oh wait, is that where the key did it? Did the key go do it? Yeah. Wait a second. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about something that I want to go check on. Hold up. Yep, it did. Okay, so... My thought process was, we just found that metal key on that mysterious dead body, and it unlocked the door that was right next to where we found it. So, I remembered that this door... We found this key, by the way. The, the key that I now no longer have. We found it in here, we remember, it was right there, and it opened up this door, which I didn't check after I found the key, because I'm a fool. So, here I am. Great, I found H.P. Lovecraft at the Mountains of Madness. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, so this book exists? A novella named At the Mountains of Madness, written by H.P. Lovecraft, or H.P. Lovecraft, if you will. I've obtained a trophy item. Good. So that book exists? Or is that just like a cheeky little nod? Like it's just haha. Because like who would think to open that and then open this and get it? So that's very strange. Did a light just turn on in here? No. I'm losing my mind just as much as these characters are. Eh. Alright, bye. Okay, and we're back. So that was fun. We found a cheeky little Easter egg. Oh, okay. Starting off immediately, huh? It's getting all digital and like VCR-like. As soon as I looked at this thing, is that it? Is this one of those pre-human spe specimens that we found? Don't touch that, that's not good. Oh, okay, yeah. This is normal. Oh, we're looking around. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. Don't have a torch. I think you should retire to your room. I... I'm going to think a bit more. Who's talking? Who is this? What is happening? Oh, is there somebody there? I think there's somebody there. Alright. Okay, I will. Antarctica, the southernmost continent and site of the South Pole is a virtual uninhabited ice-covered land mass. Most cruises to the continent visit the Antarctic Peninsula, which stretches towards South America. That's that hook that I keep talking about. Uh, it is known for the Le Maire Channel and Paradise Harbor. Paradise Harbor striking iceberg flanked passageways and Port Lockroy, a former British research station turned museum. There's a museum there, really? Is that real? Is that still there? That's cool. The peninsula's isolated terrain also shelters rich wildlife, including many penguins. The rest of the text is illegible. Agartha, some markings on the... Okay, what's... I don't really care about that. All right, what's this then? Is this more Voynich manuscript stuff? Might be. Doesn't really look like it, though. This is hard to... See. Well, not anymore. It's not... Uh, what are we looking at here? Nova et Integra... Oh, Universi Orbis Descriptio. It's Latin, so they don't know the difference between an, a, a U and a V. 
Because they were fools. Those Latish. Lat Latinish. I'm not super sure I know what's going on here. I feel like I don't want to touch that just yet. Because that's going to shoot me back in time or whatever. Ah, it's Horatio. Oh, he's got a hole. It, wait, is that supposed to be there? This looks thicker than I would imagine. I always assumed the skull was like this dome up top, but then underneath it was like kind of, it just like hollowed out and you could like wear it basically as like a hat or something. Was that in the game? That squeaky sound? I hope it was. I think that guy, no. I don't know who that is or who I am or what's going on. Whoa. There's a door. So I don't know. I don't know if I should touch this or not. I'm gonna. Okay, good. Oof. I was very worried it would end the thing. This thing has wings. Whatever this is, it has wings. Is it drink a Red Bull much? Heh. <laughs> All right, let's retire in my bedroom. Boy, I wish I had a torch or something. It's very hard to see what's happening. Oh, rats. Oh, I've seen that picture before. The painting. About sleep paralysis or whatever. What's happened here? This is very layers of fury all of a sudden. Oh, what's that now? Locked. Okay. What am I hearing? It's locked. Other than him saying it's locked over and over again. What's happening? Locked. Oh no, it's locked. Oh, here we go. Okay. Whew. This is a problem. Something bad's about to happen. Oh, oh, yeah, here it comes. I'm ready for it. Lay it on me. So what was the point of all that then? Assuming it's over, I'm assuming that we're going back, right? What am I hearing though? Okay, can I make a request of this game? Is that I could have like a handle on what's happening or going on? I'm back. Other than the handle that I used. Ah, oh boy. All right, here we go. Found Dr. Barlow's something. Diversahi, the legendary drink of the oldest myths. I heard about that elusive mixture decades ago when I was writing my thesis on Salvia Divor Divinorum, also known as the Sage of the Diviners. An ethiogenic plant used mostly in religious or shamanic ceremonies. For centuries, no one could gather any information about it other than its legendary mystical psychoactive properties. In some sources, it was the drink of the gods, while in others, a key for opening pages to places that lie beyond the conventional senses. Gates to places. Thanks. The sole bridge to be passed in order to leave the bodily restrictions of the flesh. Most scholars would kill for even a hint about one of its lost ingredients. That's something I was on the lookout for throughout my career. A new formula is forming in my mind. <laughs> See what I did there? I feel like there's a chance for me to produce, if not the original, that a variant of the legendary mixture de Verhassi. With the new clues I've uncovered during my work here. Cool. Good luck to you, buddy. A scientific historical timeline of the unoccupied continent. That actually would be very interesting. Except it's hilariously out of date at this point. More than 100 years. 1892. The year Columbus sailed the ocean blue, if I've ever heard one. What's this? Oh, cool. Whoa. Somewhat, wait. Oh, cool. Somewhat humanoid in form, these sculptures initially reminded us of the terracotta army sculptures carved as funerary art, buried with the first emperor of China to protect him in the afterlife. But judging by the writings on some of the bass reliefs, space reliefs, now we believe that these wooden puppets or golems or golems or glams were used to carry out some tasks for their masters, just like the Egyptian Ushab... Ushab... Tiu funerary figures, serenes, which are the servants of their owner in the hereafter. We saw the... Okay. We saw the golems in several sizes, and it was terrifying to see the huge ones sitting in silence on the carved and polished rock stools, as if waiting for a command. There are, lo there are lots of gateways leading to dark and damp corridors that were mostly carved in ages past. Some of them were covered by strange ivy-like plants swaying back and forth, despite there being no external force to move them. That's pretty weird. They seem to come from levels below, creeping through devices in the rock walls. To stop probable superstitious gossip amongst the crew, Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, personally started to examine them. 
Where? The first submarine explorations revealed what was lying in the underwater caves. The most striking feature were the structures with openings... With openings in them, okay. Uh, like doors and windows, they made us wonder whether those caverns had been carved underwater or if they'd been submerged at a later date and thus had become redundant to those who had carved them. Yeah, I don't know, guy. This, it's a mystery to me. I got another trophy item! Let's check out our trophy items, by the way. It's a left bumper. Here we go. I got one, two, three, four trophy items. Out of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Twenty! Pronunciation of the Zs? I would love to read this. You're not going to tell me what it is, is it? Are you? Do, do you? What the pronunciation is? No. Just have to guess. Oh, I got another handle. Cool. Oh, so I can do that thing now. Yeah, so I can go do that thing. Which I'll have to go do. Solar South Polar chart. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, nothing else on here. Oh. Older city ruins. Cycl Cyclopean city. Mountains of Madness. Where? Mountains of Madness. Way out there, it says, it looks like. Or is it point? Oh, it's, it's pointing. It's back. Okay. Usually when it points, it points to the thing and not to the name of the thing. But that's fine. Older city ruins. Cyclopean city. Mounds of madness. Alright, well, I don't know about that. That is weird. And I don't know what else there is to look at here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. And we're gonna go through that link elevator. We're gonna go down into the whatever, and I'm excited for it. But, that's all gonna happen in the next episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Tune in tomorrow for more exciting Conarium adventures. I can't wait for it. Personally, I know I say that every time. This time it's true, though. I was lying every other time. So uh, I hope to see you then. Until next time, I've been Mr. Red. And stay spooky out there, everybody.